Um, I am a rising junior at the University of Maryland College Park and I am studying computer science and psychology as a double major. I am currently working on some research on a research project where we are building autonomous robots that can navigate around um, a city and I'm not sure if I can say much more as it is, it is something to do with um, the state as well so that's pretty much it and it has um, crossover with engineering as well where we are building the robot from scratch and also reprogram reprogramming it. Uh, I feel like in the beginning not as much as a lot of uh, the classes focus on just learning how to code and use different um, uh, coding um, environments, but as you learn more in the field, you realize that um, a lot of the coding that we're doing is for consumers. So a lot of it um, overlaps with psychology in the fact that we need to understand how our consumers think and who who the people who are using our products, like how will they um, like think and how will they want the product to act. Um, I think in the first place, I want to study computer science because um, you can look around us and see how many like of our daily lives, like how many appliances in our daily lives all use technology. And I knew that that was pretty much going to be like the future. Um, and this would be exponentially increased in the future as well. So I knew this field would be uh, in growing and there will be a lot more opportunities um, to make new breakthroughs as well as um, like really better the um, better like products in society. Yeah, pretty much like in high school as in high school, I started attending some hackathons that I thought were really interesting as I saw like the applications of things we learned in class into an actual products and that like encouraged me to apply to major in computer science. Uh, I think at UMD, the, there's a large portion of students that are CS majors. It's like the third uh, most popular major at the university. So there are a lot of peers that you can talk to, people that have a lot of um, experience in the field that you can learn from which is really helpful. And also because the major is um, a large part of UMD, there are a lot of resources physically like robots or just labs and pretty much anything you can really get your hands on, you can ask and there'll probably be somewhere on campus. So you can use a lot of that for your own research or learn from it and really understand like what type of field you would like to go into the future. Um, I think one of the main things that really helped me out with my research that I'm doing currently that is um, on UMD is that there's a lot of um, 3D printing um, stations like that we can use as students because for us like 3D printing is very difficult as although it is really useful in creating um, new ideas and things like that a lot of the base price for the instruments are like $300,000, which is something that obviously we'll never be able to afford. But because the university can fund all of that, a lot of um, these like 3D printing machines are allowed to be used by students to create their own projects pretty much out of pocket. Like you pay like $100 for something that can be printed on like a $300 machine that we can use. Um, I think another great thing about it is that there are a lot of great clubs that um, have uh, like in a variety of different subjects that are related to computer science. And one of them that I'm in is like does neurotechnology, which is really interesting to me. And like there we can get 
um, we can ask our advisor, a professor to get us a lot of um, products that can be used that may not be accessible on campus. And they can order those things that we can use to just research in. And a lot of these clubs also do competitions, which is great. So you can get more experience and working in a field that you may not be able to um, really like touch on in class. I think uh, as when I was learning to code, I learned a lot about Java because it's one of the largest programming languages in the world. So a lot of the functions that are used in Java are also um, carried over and like carried over to other programming languages. So it was really useful to learn. Like there's so much to learn from Java that you can use in other parts of our classes that I think it is it was really useful learning it in the beginning as one of my first languages that I've ever learned. Yes, I think the main ones are Java, Python, and C. They all are um, they all like are different in some ways, but also similar, but they're different enough that they really give you experience in working with different types of languages that are um, similar, but also like remembering that like there are a lot of differences between these languages that make them unique. And I think that really helped me to um, understand a lot of the basic like functions that many languages overlap in. Uh, personally, I would love to do more research as that's what I'm most interested in. But for that, I may need to do more schooling or just um, look for opportunities nearby pretty much. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't gone a lot of thought about that as I think right now my focus is like understanding what areas I would most likely want to go into as a lot of the basic classes I've been taking these first two years don't focus very specifically on like um, small areas that are applicable in the field, but more about the general ideas of computer science that are important for all fields. Yes, yes. Um, the first, like for UMD, the main, the first two years um, are mainly just taking pre prerequisite classes. There's a lot of prerequisite classes that you have to take. So a lot of that takes up most of my time, especially because I have to take these classes for another major as well. So I have a lot of um, double major classes that do not overlap at all. So I am not able to um, really take smaller classes in like the 400 levels that are more specialized for different subjects or different um, ideas that you want to focus more on. I think there is a good amount of women studying CS, but it's you can really tell that it is still like a minority in college when there are so many people in our classes. But I think that that number is increasing um, in the coming years though. I think generally um, people are accepting of it, but I think due to the fact that they don't really meet many female computer science majors or computer scientists, it is hard for them to really um, have like an inviting uh, approach to it because maybe they might not have many experiences with people who are in, are in CS that are female. As women in CS, I think they should not be like afraid to like reach out for opportunities in areas that they might think are male dominated, but really understand that just like having the courage to like step out into a field that you may be overwhelmed in can really help to like uh, change others' opinions of you as well as like in general women in STEM, as well as just like really learning about it helps to learn more about like the field and a lot of the jobs that are in it. So I think that the main, the main, the main thing that keeps women back is just not stepping out into the field, really.
I think there are a lot of viewpoints and ideas that can be useful with different、um, with a diverse CS field that are really lacking right now. Pretty much with any field, really, because of course, people that you're marketing your your products towards are a diverse group of people. But if you can't understand any of that, then how will you be able to create a good product? Uh, personally, I don't really. That's another thing in this field which is difficult because there aren't many female CS like、um, pioneers really that are we can look up to. So personally, I don't really have one. But for me, I guess my professors mainly because I have met a lot of really interesting, really amazing professors that love what they do and are really great at、um, teaching the field. And I think that they really helped me learn a lot. I think their greatest asset right now is the internet, as there's so many things you can learn online. There's so much code, just languages, and、um, information online that you really can just use to like teach yourself so much、um, to help keep you like ahead of the field and also really find out what your own interests are. And I think that's really important. Yeah, I guess like, although there aren't many、uh, females, I think it's more of like a large community of both females and males, not ex- not just excluding、um, males. But there are a lot of people who are open-minded and a lot of females that are like willing to、um, learn more and、um, be enthusiastic about the subject. So I think that yes, in my classes and in my friends, I have met a lot of people. That have really helped me understand the field a lot much better. I think the main point is like for women in STEM is to like not be afraid. I feel like because I think I know a lot of people who are overwhelmed by the the amount of people that aren't like aren't female in STEM like in CS. Once you really like get out into the field. But I think that as long as you are like passionate about what you do and you speak on the things that you think are correct or incorrect, you really can go like a lot farther in the field.